Okay, I'm going to set up a Topcon LN100 uh, robotic surveying instrument and use it to lay out some foundation points. This is a quick setup video. It would obviously take a long time to explain how this works. It's the kind of thing you have to have some training on uh, or somebody's got to teach you how to do it. It's um, Once you learn how to run one of these, it's very useful. It's not super, super complicated. After all, I learned how to do it. And once you have it um, set up on site and locked into the site uh, coordinates, the geometry, the datum of the site, you can use it to um, do layout, which is what I'm going to do. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing what's called a resection. I'm shooting my control points. Um, then I'm letting the software magnet field layout do uh, some trigonometry calculations using the angles and distances uh, to the various points and coming up with the most likely solution of where on the site the instrument is. And once it's confident, then I can move forward uh, and start laying things out. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. This is the first of my shots. There's two more after this, but I'm not going to bother showing you the same thing. All right. Well, now that I'm locked on to my control points and... Uh, the site coordinates, uh, I can start laying out. And what I need to do here today is I need to just use spray paint to make a visual reference in the footing trench of where a bunch of piers go. And then uh, one of the uh, people on the design team, as well as somebody from the general contractor, coming over to take a look at something. So what I've done is I've um, I've taken uh, inside the Topcom magnet field layout software, I'm using the layout tab and I use a routine called line offset. And I take the building corners that the building or the uh, land surveyor gave me in the beginning, which I stored in, um, in my software. And I measure from the architectural plans, um, the distances off the various grid lines to the locations of the piers. I do a little quick math, enter that in, and I come up with the stationing along that line from uh, this building corner that's behind me to the one that's out in front of me, 200 and some feet away. And um, I can enter all that in. The software is very flexible. It lets you do all kinds of cool stuff like that. And then I just navigate to each point. So there's a point every, uh, starting at like 30 feet, five inches off of one corner, there's one every 30 feet. Um, and then there are also, um, there's a left point, a middle point and a right point. So right now I'm just doing the centers. And uh, once I've located one, then all I do is hit the next button and it tells me to go to the next one, how far to go. There's constant guidance on screen. The, uh, the, the, the robot is constantly reading the distance and angle to the prism and then communicating that wirelessly back to me. And there's uh, in the bottom left corner of that screen. I don't think it's visible. You uh, may not be able to see it. It tells me uh, how far to move towards or away from the robot. And then it also tells me how to far to move left and right. And then there's a depiction of the line that I'm trying to lay out um, or that I'm walking along and I can, I can see my location. There's some crosshairs. Um, so I can use that to get close. And then I follow the guidance. Today, I'm, if I get within a quarter inch, I'm happy. I'll make a mark. I'm not using the bipod to get um, truly plumb. I just use the, um, the upper bubble vial um, to get as close as I can. Because again, this is just for conversational purposes. But this is a super powerful, useful tool to have if you do foundation work um, or really any kind of uh, trade, I guess, that a lot of the um, concrete guys use them. Uh, I'm a, just an excavating contractor. I use it. Um, I know that some of the uh, MEP contractors, plumbers especially, will use it for slab penetrations. And if they're not using a Topcon, they're using a, a Trimble or a Leica or a, a Hilti or there's several manufacturers. Um, and some of the machines are quite sophisticated. This one is actually fairly basic. I've had it for several years, but it... Um, it works great every time. I've never had any trouble out of it whatsoever. And uh, I keep finding new ways to use it. So if this interests you, let me know in the comments. And um, if I can, uh, I'll make more videos when I get an opportunity.